All right, then welcome back everyone. Let's solve this question. Make it divisible by 25. I hope you read the question once. Um, I'll still read it. This is one of those questions uh, where the brute force is the answer. You might you might be surprised by it, but the brute force might be the answer. This is one of those questions. Okay, fine. So let me just uh, read the question very quickly. We are given a positive integer n. In one move, what we can do is we can uh, select any single digit and remove it. Okay, that's what we can do. And we cannot perform this operation if only one digit remains. Fine. And if the resulting number contains any leading zeros, they're automatically removed. That is, if you remove it, remove two from here, then the automatically the zero zero are removed. Fine. So that's what they've explained here. What is the minimum number of steps uh, to get the number such that it is divisible by 25 and positive? Because the input is already positive. So if you keep on uh, removing uh, the numbers uh, anyway, uh, your answer will be positive. Like, and will be positive only. By removing the digit, you will not be able to make this number from positive to negative. So what they're asking is, what is the minimum number of steps? What is the steps? Removing any digit, right? Selecting any digit. So, right? So how many digits uh, you remove? That will be the answer. Okay. So this trailing zeros removed are not considered uh, to be part of the step. The only digit that you pick and remove is considered part of a step, right? So what they're asking is, what is the minimum number of steps to get a number such that it is divisible by 25 and still positive? Positive, yeah, it just given you to throw you off. But what we want is, uh, what is the minimum number of digits you need to remove such that the number becomes divisible by 25? And it is guaranteed that for each n occurring in the input, the answer exists. That is, there is some way to remove the digits such that uh, your number becomes divisible by 25. And it is guaranteed that n has no leading zeros, fine. So we'll not be given something like this 0, 0, 0, and then number. Okay, that's good. And... Fine, the input is simply a number n and the number it seems as if to be of order 10 power 18. So you have to store it in a long long. And for each test case, output on a separate line or the minimum number of steps to get a number such that it is divisible by 25 and positive. Uh, so what we are after is basically you are given an n here, uh, which is of order 10 power 18. Just find me number of digits, minimum number of digits that I will remove from it and the number will become divisible by 25. And there are some example test cases given here and they have given some explanation. I hope you have gone through it. <laughs> if you are not able to understand it, that's why in this video, right? So let's just go to sublime and try to make sense out of this question. Fine. So what we are given is we are just given a number n here. Right. So I'll just take the input quickly. That's what we are given. For every test case, we are just given a number n, which is of order 10 power 18. And we want to make it divisible by 25. And what they have given is a uh, uh, note that uh, it is always possible. So the number will be given in such a way that you will be able to make it divisible by 25 by removing some digits. It's always possible in the operation or basically in one step. In one step, what you can do? In one step, you can remove one digit. That's what you can do, right? In one step, you can remove one digit, and uh, it is always possible to get a number divisible by 25. Now, you have studied something called as a divisibility test in your uh, eighth standard, or something like maybe in your uh, elementary school, you have studied something called as a divisibility test, right? So, what is a divisibility test of 25? If you have forgotten, uh, don't worry. Uh, if you have forgotten the divisibility test, uh, it's common. So, just look at the table of 25, and you'll be able to figure out what is the divisibility test of 25. Uh, let's just see how the like. What are the multiples of 25? You'll be able to figure out. So 25 one side is 25. Uh, 25 two side is 50. Then uh, 75. Then 100. Then 125. Then so I'm just writing out the multiples of 25. Then from this you can maybe figure out the divisible test of 25. Okay. So 125. Then 150. 175. 200. Uh, maybe I can write some more. 225. 250. And you'll be able to I guess finally see what is happening here. 275. So on right. Yeah. So I just written the multiples of 25. Uh, I'm basically trying to figure out when a number can be divisible by 25. That's what I'm able to, that's what I'm looking for here, okay? Maybe I'll write here 300 as well. Okay, good. So, a number is divisible by 25. From this, just observe it, okay? Just look at these uh, multiples of 25. When do you think a number is divisible by 25? When the last two digits are either 0, 0, 75, 50, or 25. Right, so this observation, uh, I hope uh, you are able to see here, right? So a number will be divisible by 25 if last two digits are either 00, 75, 50, 25, or yeah. So basically, I'll write down a number is divisible. A number is uh, divisible by 25 if last two digits, if last two digits are 00, 0 or 25. 25, 50, or 75. Like, frankly, I was able to make this observation by looking at the first four multiples itself, right? So, in the first four multiples, you can see it's 25, 50, 75, 100. And again, you are getting 25, 50, 75, and 00. So, just by looking at some of the multiples of 25, you should be able to see that uh, if a number has to be divided by 25, last two digits have to be 00, 25, 50, or 75. So, this is like a necessary, and uh, you can say this is like a sufficient condition. If last two digits, is any one of these either 0, 0, 25, 5, 0, or 75, your job will be done, right? So, any one of these, okay? Any one of these is necessary as well as sufficient, right? If a number has to be divisible by 25, 
any one of this must happen okay that's what i mean necessary and sufficient means any one of this must happen the last two digits uh, should be 0 0 or 25 or 50 or 75 any one of this must happen it should happen fine so if any of this must happen just uh, try to make this happen right <laughs> so what i'm saying is try to make last two digits try to make last two digits any one of this right that's what i'm saying try to make last two digits any of 0, 0, 2, 5, 5, 0, 75. and since they have told answer is always possible you will be able to make last two digits any of 0, 0, 2, 5, 5, 0, 75, right so it directly comes from this fact since our answer is always possible we can always make it divisible by 25 we will be able to make last two digits any of this 0, 0, 2, 5, 5, 0, 75, right so try to make last two digits uh, any of these and uh, or in other words your answer will be minimum of operations to make last two digits equal to any one of these right so about right so minimum of operation to make last two digits about right so what is the operation to find make it last digit 0 0 what is the number of operation to last digit 25 what is the number of operation to make last digit 50 or 75 and you just take minimum, minimum of those right of course it might happen that sometimes you might not be able to make all of them maybe just one of them you will be able to make then we'll figure out uh, we'll what we'll do is we'll return a, a very big value for uh, 0 0 2 5 5 0 so automatically the answer will be 75 right so it can happen it's not like really you can make last two digits every one of these but you will definitely be able to make one of these Right. If you are able to make all of them, fine. Then pick uh, then pick the operation in which you require minimum number of operations. And what is the operation? Removing the digits. Fine. So I guess uh, that is the logic. So let's just quickly implement it. So this question is more about implementation. If you can make this observation, uh, you can. Uh, you are like the question is pretty much uh, done and dusted there. But now how you implement this is the real deal. So I've taken the number n here. Now what I have is I have to remove the number. I have to remove the digits and check whether the last two digits have become uh, 0, 0, 5, 0, 0, 2, 5, 5, 0, 7, 5. So Manipulating the number will be a little bit difficult for me. So it's better I just convert this number to a string using this two string function, right? I'm simply doing it uh, to make my life easy. Of course, you can manipulate the integer, like manipulate that number and do it. But I it, I thought like it's better if I manipulate uh, the string, right? So I've converted uh, the number to the string. Now what next? I need to find out minimum number of operations to make the last two digit equal to 25, uh, 50, 75 or 00. zero. So what I can do is uh, I can just create a vector of string. So I've just created a vector of string. What it will hold is it will basically hold the candidates. That I'm after 0, 0, 2, 5, 7, 5, sorry, 2, 5, 5, 0, and 7, 5. So these are basically what I'll try to do is I'll try to make the last two digits equal to all of these, right? So I'll try to make the last two digits of my n equal to 0, 0, 2, 5, 5, 0, 7, 5. So I'll delegate this function, uh, I'll delegate this task to some other function. So what I'll do now is I'll first initialize my answer here. Initialize my answer to very big value, 1 e 9. And what I'll do is I'll go through all the digits, I'll go through all the digits. And what I'm going to find out is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to delegate this task to another function ops. What it's going to take is, uh, it's going to take uh, this digit, it's going to take this digit, basically 0, 0, first 0, 0, then 2, 5, then 50, and then 75. And what it's going to find out is, what is the minimum number of operations, what is the minimum number of operations to make the last two digits, last two digits of my num to equal to that digit. Right, so this is what I'm going to find out. So maybe I can uh, store it in another variable, uh, mini, because of this. So this will basically find me out the minimum number of operations number of operation to make the last two digits of num equal to digit so in every iteration i'm going to find out what is the number of operation to make the last two digits 0 0 then minimum number of operation to find make the last two digits 25 50 75 so on right then i'm going to update my answer to min of mini an answer okay. so all in all what this loop does is it goes through every possible digit and finds out what is the number of operation to make the last two digits equal to the candidate and just updates the answer in the end i can uh, just print my answer see out answer followed by new line fine so now one thing remains uh, define this ops so what is this ops? Let's just define it quickly. This ops, what it returns? It returns a minimum number of operation. So it takes a string here, right? It uh, takes the string last two. Fine, I'll just name it very aptly. Uh, last two and uh, a number. So again, it will be string number, right? So what it finds out? What is the minimum number of operation? To make the last two digits of this num equal to this last two. Fine. So maybe I can take them in another variable. X equals to last two of zero and into y equals to last two of one. So we are trying to make the last two digits of my num x, y. That's what you're trying to do. So how can you do it? Uh, maybe we can. In minimum, we want the minimum number of operations as well, right? So, want to make the last two digit equal to this two, right? X and Y. Minimum number of operation to make uh, last make last two digits X Y. That's what we're after. Fine. So minimum number of operation. Now, of course, uh, coming from the end makes much more sense, right? You cannot come from the beginning. If you want to uh, minimize the number of operation start uh, deleting digits from the end until the last two digits become x and y coming from the front uh, makes no sense right because what happens let's say i have a number like this 
some uh, gibberish here some gibberish here and then last number is 25 so of course if you come from last or you got 25 so without removing anything your job is done but if you come from left then there will be a problem right so you can start checking from the end we can start checking from the end until the last two digits have become 25 so let's say if there was some number here uh, 9 and there was some number here 7 what i can do is i can remove this 9 first and then i can remove this 7 and then i'll get 25 right so i'll come from the end and check whether the last two digits have become x y or not if they become XY, then fine, I'll return the number of operations. Uh, otherwise, uh, we'll return very big value. Fine. So, to initialize uh, the number of operations, like steps, steps or operations, fine. So, minimum number of steps to make last rule XY, fine. So, steps is 0. And uh, what I'll do is I'll start with uh, J equals to length of num minus 1. So, that's the last character. Length of num is nothing, right? Uh, this length of num is simply num dot size. I've defined it above. If you want to see, length of x is simply x dot size. Okay. So, yeah. I'll start with the last character. What I'll do is while J greater than 0 and and num of j not equals to y now first i'll try to make the last digit equal to y since i'm i want to make uh, the last digit x y first i'll try to make the last digit to be y j minus minus and steps plus plus right so now after this loop ends after this loop ends what will happen is the last digit would have become y or maybe you have just uh, gone through the entire string and you're, you're not able to make it right so if you are able to make the last digit y then this loop ends Otherwise, you will end this uh, loop and you won't be able to make y. So maybe uh, if you are trying to make 25 and uh, 25 was not a part of a number, then you will definitely end it. Right? You will have you had only something like this 900000. So so here you obviously 25 is not part of the string. So anyway, uh, the steps will be very big, and uh, you will exit this loop. And uh, otherwise, now what I want uh, since now I have the last digit last digit as y, what I can do is now I can uh, make the second last digit to be x. Right, so last digit is y. Now I'll make the second last digit to be x. So how can I do it? I'll start from uh, j minus one, right? So where j stopped, then I'll go y i greater than zero, and and num of i not equals to x i minus minus and steps plus plus. Right. So first I'll make the last digit to be y. Then I'll make the last digit to be x, and I'll keep on incrementing the steps. And in the end, I can just return the steps. If uh, x and y, basically, if you are not able to make x, y to be part of a string, anyway, steps will be equal to the length of the string, right? So steps will be very big value. So it will be anyway very big compared to if x, y was x, if we are able to make x, y last two digits, right? So what I'm saying is, guys, see, if 25 is not part of this, if 25 is not part of this, anyway, uh, the number of steps will be n, right? You will have, you'll remove entire string, but 0, 0, 0, 0 is part of the string, so you will not consume any operation, you will not consume any operation. Fine. So in that case, uh, steps for the candidate digits which don't exist in the number will automatically be very high. So you don't need to check whether uh, x, y is present in the area or not. Right. So I'll summarize the function very quickly. What we are after is minimum number of steps, minimum number of steps to make the last two digits of this num equal to x, y. So how do I do it? I started with the pointer. Until the last digit has become y, I'm incrementing the steps. Now, once the last digit has become y, I'm going to try to make the second last digit to be x. And I'm just simply going to return number of steps. If x, y was not part of the num, automatically n will be written, which is very big. And since we know the answer always exists, if some other last two digits can be formed, this, this steps for them will be written very small, right? And here, uh, anyway, our answer will be updated, right? So we are going through every possible last two digits and finding out the minimum number of operation and the minimum of them will be our answer. Fine. So this should work. If I have not made any syntax errors, <laughs> let's quickly run it. So 0, 3, 1, 3, 2 should come. Yeah, it seems to be working. 0, 3, 1, 3, 2. Let me just quickly submit it. Yeah, it works. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.